The world has been reshaped by a strange catastrophe. The land split into fragments and formed into a vertical structure known as the Tower of Shards. The only way to pass between the fragments is through a series of portals, but only a select few, known as the Marked, are capable of using them. Taking on the role of a marked human, the player must ascend the Tower of Shards, fighting off the marked of other species that have been trapped into an all-or-nothing struggle with each other. Heroes of Eternal Quest has definite loop hero vibes, with some tower defense elements mixed in. The player's marked avatar walks through a closed loop, fighting monsters and growing in power. The objective is to clear a certain number of loops and then defeat a boss, which unlocks the path to the next shard. Defeating enemies unlocks standard RPG gear, as well as buildings that offer various benefits. Attacking monsters, healing the player, generating items, or even spawning weak monsters to provide experience. Between runs, the player can use resources acquired through gameplay to upgrade their base of operations. These new structures provide permanent bonuses and unlock cards that let the player construct new buildings. These bonuses can be very significant, and given that marked heroes start each run very fragile, powering up between runs is very important. Heroes of Eternal Quest is not a difficult game, but as with any game built around randomness, you will have bad runs. There are ways to mitigate risk, but it's also important to note when to cut your losses. The player can end the run after completing a loop, taking part of their earned resources home. It's a safety valve not available in most roguelike games, and I highly recommend taking advantage of it. At the end of the day, Heroes of Eternal Quest isn't Loop Hero, but if you liked Loop Hero, then you might want to give this one a shot.